Hello, math learners! Brace yourselves as we discuss today's lesson. Are you ready? Let's start! There are four set operations. In this video, we are going to learn about the first two set operations. Union and intersection of sets. Let's talk about union of sets. What is union of sets? The union of two sets A and B is a set whose elements are those which belong to set A or to set B or to both sets. In symbols, A union B. Let's have examples. In this Venn diagram, we have two sets, set P and set Q. We are asked, what is P union Q? We all know that union means the combination of all the elements of the given sets. So that means if we are going to find the elements of P union Q, we are just going to write the elements of set P and the elements of set Q. So P union Q has elements 3, 9, 15, 12, 6, 18, 10, 2, 14, 8, 16, and 4. Take note, the elements can be arranged in any order. Another example, in this given Venn diagram, there are two sets. The set of students who like band and the set of students who like chorus. What is band union chorus? Again, we are just going to write all the elements of band and all the elements of chorus since we are talking about union. So the answer would be band union chorus has elements Sam, Lori, Derek, Raul, Kiesha, and Robin. Let's have another example. In the given Venn diagram below, there are two sets, set A and set B. And we are asked, what is A union B? Again, union means the combination of all the elements of the given sets. So, we are going to write all the elements that belong to set A and all the elements that belong to set B. And these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now let's talk about intersection of sets. The intersection of sets A and B is the set whose elements are common to set A and set B. In symbols, A intersection B. Examples. In the given Venn diagram, there are two sets, set P and set Q. We are asked, what is P intersection Q? We all know that intersection means the elements common to both P and Q, or common to both sets. Based on the Venn diagram, the elements common to both sets are 12, 6, and 18. So that means P intersection Q has elements 12, 6, and 18. Next example, we are given two sets, set band and set chorus. We are asked what is the intersection of band and chorus. Based on the Venn diagram, their intersection is Derek. So, the intersection of band and chorus is Derek. Let's have more examples. We are given a Venn diagram which has two sets, set A and set B. And we are asked, what is A intersection B? Based on the Venn diagram, the elements common to both sets A and B are 2 and 6. So, the intersection of A and B is 2 and 6. Hello, math learner! Since we are done with the first two set operations, union and intersection of sets, 
we will now proceed to the third one. Complement of a set. What do you mean by complement of a set? Or how do we perform complement of a set? For you to understand about complement of a set, I will show you an example. We are given the universal set which has elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and set A which has elements 1, 3, and 5, and we are asked to find the complement of set A or A complement. To find A complement, we need to illustrate the given sets using a Venn diagram. The first step in illustrating a Venn diagram is to draw the universal set, which is represented by a rectangle. Next, do not forget the label of the universal set, which is capital letter U. Then. We need to draw set A, which is represented by a circle. Do not forget the label of set A, capital letter A. Next step is we need to write the elements of set A. We have 1, 3, and 5. And then, we need to write the remaining elements that are found in the universal set. We should not write the number twice. Since we are done with 1, 3, and 5, we have 3 numbers left, 0, 2, and 4. Then, we need to find A complement. When we say A complement, these are the elements that are found in the universal set but are not found in A. So if we are going to shade A complement, it would look like this. Elements in set A are not included. So that would give us the answer A complement is equal to 0, 2, and 4 only. Or A complement has only 3 elements, 0, 2, and 4. Based on the example, we can have the definition of complement of a set. The complement of set A is the set whose elements are elements of the universal set that do not belong to set A. In symbols, we could write it like this. And can be read as A prime or A complement. Let's have another example. Suppose we are given a universal set which has elements from 1 to 10, set A which has elements from 1 to 5, set B which has elements from 4 to 7, and we are asked to find B prime or B complement. To find B prime, again, the first step is to draw the universal set. Do not forget the label, capital letter U. Next, draw set A, then label, draw set B, and then label. Next, since we have two sets, we need to find the intersection of the two sets. When we say intersection, these are the elements that are common to both sets. The elements common to both A and B, we have 4. So we write number 4 and then 5. Next, we need to write the remaining elements of set A. We have 1, 2, and 3. Then, write the remaining elements of set B. We have 6 and 7. Next step is to write the remaining elements that are found in the universal set that are not yet written. 
we have 8, 9, and 10. Now, we need to find B prime. Again, when we say B prime, these are the elements that are found in the universal set but are not found in B. So if we are going to shade the Venn diagram, it would look like this. Elements in set B are not included. So that would give us B prime has elements 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, and 10. Congratulations, my dear learner. You are done with the third set operation. Now we will proceed to the last operation of sets, and that is difference of two sets. What do you mean by difference of two sets? Or how do we perform difference of two sets? I will show you an example. Suppose we are given two sets A and B. Set A has elements 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7. Set B has elements 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And we are asked to find the difference of A and B, or A minus B. First step is to draw the universal set. Label the universal set with capital letter U. Next, draw set A. Do not forget the label. Then draw set B and then label. Since we have two sets, we need to find the intersection of both sets. When we say intersection, these are the elements that are found in both A and B. We have 0. So you write 0. Next is to write the remaining elements of set A. We have 1, 3, 5, and 7. And then write the remaining elements of B. We have 2, 4, 6, and 8. When we say A minus B, these are the elements that are found in A but not in B. So if we are going to shade the Venn diagram, it will look like this. Elements in set A but not in B only. So these are the elements that can be found in set A only. Those elements that are found in B are not included. So we have the final answer. A minus B is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Or A minus B has elements 1, 3, 5, 7. Based on the example, we can have the definition of difference of two sets. The difference of sets A and B is the set whose elements belong to set A but do not belong to set B. In symbols, we could write it like this and can be read as A minus B. Now, let's proceed to our last example. Suppose we are given two sets, C and D. Set C has elements A, B, C, D, and E. Set D has elements C, D, E, F, and G. And we are asked to find D minus C. To find D minus C, first step is to illustrate the universal set. Do not forget the label. Next, draw set C and then label. Draw set D and then label. 
After that, since we have two sets, we need to find the elements that are common to both sets or the intersection of sets C and D. We have first is C, so we will write C. Next, D. And last is E. Next step is to write the remaining elements of set C. What are they? We have A and B. Next, the remaining elements of set D. We have F and G. Now, to find D minus C, again, when we say D minus C, these are the elements that do not belong to set C, but only to set D. So, when we color or when we shade the universal set, it would look like this. Elements in set D, but not in C only. So, those elements that are found in C are not included. We can have our final answer, D minus C has elements G and F. Thank you so much for listening and watching, my dear learner. I hope you learned a lot from me.